Welcome back everyone to another reaction video here on my channel, Sam Macias. We're doing episode three of Scott Pilgrim, the very first season on Netflix, Scott Pilgrim takes off. Now the first two episodes were very, one is a very Scott related episode. The other one is a very evil exes of the league centric episode. We see Mermona going to his funeral and I'm very respectful. And then we see Scott's not so high school girlfriend pretty much blaming her, which you know what? That is an argument you could make. But again, she wasn't expecting her evil ex Matthew Potato come and kill, kill Scott Pilgrim. We, he's obviously not dead. Obviously not. He's from calling from the great beyond summer looking for help. He needs some help. He needs to get back to the real world. And I think that's the, what she's going to do to help him out. Again, I am loving this show so far. It's cool. <laughs> the first two episodes are just fun, wacky hijinks in a sense. And I just I just love the new animation video game style they're doing, mixing it with like all sorts of camera cuts and the music. Oh, my God, the music has been amazing. I can't wait to see what this new episode brings. If you guys are liking what you see, go down below, leave a comment. Let me know what you're being joined about it. If you want to follow me on my socials, go down below as well in the description. All my handles will be waiting for you. If you guys want to find more videos like this and help me out, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button and let help your boy out. You beautiful, lovely, gorgeous individuals. Help me out. I'm going to help you out for more reactions and more fun like this here. And with all that being said, let's get into it. All right, here we go. You should figure out where he is. Oh, we're in young, young Neil's room. Hmm. Oh, he's an actor. He's an actor writing a screenplay. You can't do it. You can't do it. That's always that's always the worst. When you find out you're a cinephile and then you can and then you find out you can die after. That's just that's not that's not a vibe. Ain't a vibe. Oh, hey, he was hard at work. Uh -oh, procrastination, my friend, is an unhealthy disease that a lot of people have. Not a disease, but you know what I mean. Nighttime. Is he, has he done any of his work? No, he is asleep. He's probably tired. He needs to go to sleep. He's a young, he's a young boy. He needs to rest. Oh, what's that? Oh, who are you? Oh, is that Scott or is that someone else? He's not your big white. Shh. Don't say anything, young Neo. Oh, well, maybe it was a dream. It could have been a dream. Dreams are a big theme in this show, I'm starting to realize. Is that a good or bad in the ugly poster? <laughs> Ah, oh, excuse me. Someone wrote, wrote his creeper. I mean, sure, you can take credit for it, but is that the right thing to do, Neil? Does she dye her hair every single day? Man, that must get exhausting. I mean, if we get a new hair color every single episode, that'd be pretty funny. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Why are, we, why are we censoring? This is TVMA. It's Netflix. We 15, 20 minutes ago. We just stop swearing. We have f***ing customers. Oh, wow. Uh, tell me everything. Last night, in my dreams, I saw Scott's subspace highway. And heard his wallet. Is he actually a good guy? Did you say Scott's alive? Yeah. <laughs> oh, they're a thing. Okay. I'm going to change the lock. And if you see me, remind me to change the lock. <laughs> Sugar daddy days are over. For him, absolutely. For brother, we'll see. The future is a mystery. Mm. <laughs> 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 oh, she's a hater. Why would someone kidnap Scott? And why would they get my hopes up by making it seem like he was dead? I have Damn, you're such a hater. Ramona, I don't see how any of this is your responsibility. 
You went on one date. How good could it have been? Honestly, great. Mm. Your date with Scott Pilgrim? Yikes. <laughs> well, more power to you. So what's your next mm -hmm. date? Hey, more power to you them. Everyone, right? I thought you could give me a quick rundown of the major characters in Scott's life. More like major suspects. Oh, mm. I asked for a nice Americano. This is a hot Americano. Dude! Come on, you're interrupting. Come on. As I was saying, Andy Adams pulled Scott's heart out of his chest and stomped all over it with her patent leather combat boots. And that was before she went on to become a global sex symbol. I saw her do her thing at a funeral. She's even hotter in person. Are we sure? Damn. Yeah, you're obviously not the only one with questionable taste, Ramona. <laughs> <laughs> Who else? Fair point, I guess. You, know, you should talk to his other ex. She's known him longer than anyone. Okay. Mm. Who is she? This is his other ex. What is sex the problem without Scott? No, never mind. We added something to our sound. Something undefinable. Bass. He added bass. Right. Exactly. Can we have a band with no bass? <gasps> what if we find a new bass player and they make us worse? The odds are they'd make us better. God, he is too paranoid. Problem. Steven, you, you gotta you gotta chill, Steven. Ooh. No, 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 no! I fear change. <laughs> he fears change. Don't we all? You wanna try playing something? Don't different? we all? Just for fun. Me and you? I don't see anyone else in here. That's one after the other. Look, look at her. Not a care in the world. Being one with the music, one with the vibe. Not a care. Don't even think about anything else or anyone else. Just rocking and rolling. They, they do a really good job making sure the music is like a character in the show. Mm hmm. No. Yeah, I'm, this is a good music beat. I think they found a new bass player. Four hours? It took her four hours to play the bass? Deliver DVDs quicker. You're the first person in Canada to understand that. It's not a complicated concept. I guess not. Who knew? Canada? No. Video stores. That's true. Julie said you were the longest. What did you need? Backstory time. Here we go. Sheep, though? I draw perfect. A sheep? Draw me a sheep. That's the worst sheep I've ever seen. I mean, I wasn't gonna say it's the worst one. Sheep is excellent. <laughs> he was always an idiot. But one thing led to another. Mm. To make him continue to embarrass me, I had to Scott Pilgrim became my first boyfriend. Oh, first love. Sounds like Holly's taking care of it. <laughs> She was until, you know, oh, you're still there. This is unexpected. Uh oh. Well, you better get better at expecting it. Oh. Uh oh. We were college roommates. Mmm. And more. Roommates. And more. Mmm. Rusty Richter. Ramona's fourth evil ex. Okay. Four. What about two and three? Four is the minimum of baby. Besides, the league lies in ruin. So we're just skipping two and three, huh? What's that? Exactly. Emotional intelligence. None of these boys mm. know how to talk about their feelings. Feelings? Mm. You're as clueless as the boys. Ooh. You're just impossible to talk to. You want to talk about feelings? Start talking. Here we comes. Here we goes. Oh no, are we just gonna fight? Oh wow. She doesn't look too excited to fight. Oh, I was just. That's cheating. It may be cheating, but hey, it works. 
Ooh. Ooh. You're not done yet with the fight. Back to the west we go. I don't want to fight you, Roxy. I'm gonna run away like you did back then. Oh, she ran away. Then again, she didn't turn evil like you, Roxy. So let's let, let's pump the brakes here. Let's pump the hate brakes. Oh man, she's in, oh we got a backstory. Oh. Roxy, I. Oh, she apologized. For what? For leaving the way I did. Oh. We get some reconciliation between them. Oh, damn. What's in there now? What's in there now? Uh oh. Uh oh, oh, they're both going to drop to the death. They're just going to a different world. Okay. Well, ouch, cactus. That's gonna hurt. Oh, she gotta get her in time? Did she get there in time? Did she gotta get there in time? Oh, she did. She got there in time. She saved her. See, Ramona's not a bad person. You know, they, they were, she was just young. They were young. They didn't know better. Oh. Hi, should we kiss? Yes. <laughs> I have an unfinished business. <laughs> Emotional business? He's dead, Ramona. He's not dead. It's, it's complicated. I've got to find him first. But I'd like to be your friend. Hmm. Benefits? No. <laughs> we're in the shop. What about you? Hey, she took a shot. Oh, oh okay. hey. Wow. Hmm? <laughs> oh, wow. They didn't waste no time. Wow, okay. No time wasted at all. Good for them. Good for them. No sparks. Uh, worth a shot. What about your hot co-worker? Is she coming back? Okay, it's time for you to leave. Damn, okay, I was just like, cool the brakes there, chill it down, don't, you know, hop to the next train and another. At least I have one less suspect. Roxy didn't know Scott was alive. This was a productive day, as far as fights are concerned. I mean, Everybody you can say that. That's why they call it closure. Now you're one step closer to the dumb boy of your dreams, and you buried the hatchet with an X. Multitasking. Hmm, multitasking. That's the key thing in life. No one ever talks about. Don't tell me I'm going to have to do this with all seven of them. I Holly think you are. Legend, Lucas Lee, is one of your exes? Unfortunately. Damn, Ramona. I know he's a handsome, big-chested, devil-may-care Hollywood D-bag, but... But back in the day, you knew me by another name. Oh, what was your brother's name? Gordon Goose. Wow, that, that's a name. You do remember me. That's a name. You may be the only one who does. Truly, I have lost everything. My empire is gone. My billionaire friends have shunned me. Even my millionaire friends have turned their backs. <laughs> His millionaire friends. Poor you, Gideon. Poor you. They laughed at me when I called. So I spent the last of my pocket money on bus fare to Toronto just to see one. Pathetic face. <laughs> Gordon, get your butt in here. Oh, wow. Things is a trick. This is all a ploy. Don't believe him. Don't do it, Kim. You're already getting in here, but don't believe him. 
Well, that was episode three. We got Ramona kicking ass left and right in this episode. I mean, we see Roxy just, you know, that, that's the thing of emotions and relationships. If you don't talk about it, you got to stick with them until the, yeah, until literally the day you die. And then, you know, they literally have a big old fight throughout every genre of film that there is. And, you know, they got the emotional support that they needed and closure. And then that's good. We all need that in life. Who doesn't? I mean, I could have done with some, definitely. We're not talking about me. We're talking about the episode. Another fun, exciting episode. We're getting this much closer to see what happened to Sky. Is he somewhere other in some other world? Is he is he in another city? Who we're trying to figure that out. And it looks like they're kind of doing reverse in the show. We're kind of doing Ramona fighting the evil exes, which I thought that's an interesting kind of twist. Because we got Scott already fighting Math Matthew Patel. And then and now in this one, are we gonna get Ramona fighting Rock Jason Lee? Rock, ooh, Jason Lee. Rock Lee. And yeah, I, I'm probably butchering these names, but I don't, I don't care. I'm excited. I want to get in more into these episodes. I mean, I can't wait. Let's go. I'm enjoying this uh, show. Uh, let me know in the comments down below what you guys been thinking. Are you guys having fun? Is it exciting? Is it new? Am I just stupid? Please tell me. Let me know in the comments down below. If you guys want to follow me on my socials, on the handles in the description for you as well. And until next time, you beautiful peeps. Bye.